Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I am very excited to be bringing you this information. One of the things when I was at Creativation is I saw that there were two classes by graphics that I was just fascinated. You know, I use their Duralar acetate and I did not know all these other uses for it. And so they advertised that they were having this mixed media, these mixed media classes using acetate. Well, I was fascinated. So the first class was this one, which is a mixed media journal. And so this class, they gave this journal and the class was taught by Kat Kerr. What is included in this kit? It is a kit like this and it has two chipboard covers, two of their clear Duralar, and this is it right here. This is the 0 .010. This is really thick. Now what I'm using is a 0 .005, I think. And this is 0 .01. Uh, and so it takes other mediums. You wouldn't think about the things that you could put on here. Okay, you can actually, it takes ink, it takes lead and colored pencil. You can actually erase on it. It cuts well. They even sewed on this and paints work on it. I will show you what media were used. Anyway, it also includes two of the .005 Duralar. You'll notice they're all punched and you get the rings as well. And it includes two of the matte, matte Duralar. So what it looks like, it looks like a really thick vellum and it's very smooth. And you also get two of the opaque white and the opaque black. So you will notice I have one of each of these. That's because in class, we did this. So we did the cover. The rings are included in the kit. They provided the images, the stamps, and even the inks and paints. I went ahead and quickly put just some paint over this because I didn't want to take it back out of the rings once it was in the rings. So I was still finished decorating this uh, at home. This is the black, and what we did was we used some gold uh, ink. I will show you the products we used later. And we actually put that on a stamp and stamped it and then used a white jelly roll. Yeah, a jelly roll pen. I also put the gold here. We cut little holes where we wanted. I edged it with gold. I put gold here. And you can see the holes, um, through the holes, you can see the other side. And I can still decorate this one. Now this is the matte or the one that I said looks like vellum. So using a stays on ink pad, we stamped the back of this. And then after we stamped it, we sponged uh, paint all over the back here and covered everything but the, the flowers. And then over here, we used colored pencils. These are colored pencils. And then I also did some more uh, stamping on the front and there's a little bit of gold here that I used from just putting some mesh on there. This one is the, let's see. Yeah, this is the thinner of the clear acetates. And on this one, this is fascinating. We stamped on the back again and then used double, their double-sided tape, a, a double-sided adhesive, it's a, it's a sheet, to put a piece of book page on the back. And then on the front, we used paint. And then we also flicked gold all over it, but it's beautiful. And again, I can also decorate here. This one is the white Duralar, and these are alcohol inks here. And we also put a picture right on top. And this is that really, really thick acetate. And we use the stays on, we flicked paints all over that, and we still have, we can decorate on the back as well. So all of this, you know, we did in that class. And then after that, I went ahead and signed up for another class. And I want to show you another thing as they gave us this pad of acetate. This is the thinner acetate. And it is actually sealed on both sides instead of just one. And we use this as like a palette, paint palette. And I would clean it up as often as I got a chance to. Eventually it does just really set. And so um, you could tear this off and then you pull the tissue paper off and you have another clean surface. 
and then this could be used for another mixed media project. I can add to it and make another project out of that. So the second class was this, which is a mixed media wall hanging. It is a 12 inch of that really thick um, Duralar. And we used stencils and put paste over it. We stamped, we've got some little mesh here. Uh, this is just a card stock that she, uh, Kath, this is Cassie from Cassie's Parlor did this class. This is her stamp. So we've got different pa uh, papers on here. This black is there, the black and acetate. And that is, and this is, so we just cut it up in pieces. This is the white acetate. We have put sprays on this and this and then cut it into shapes. And so even the back you can see is really uh, interesting. And so I still have some more pieces and some dimensional pieces that I'm going to add on top of that. In the meantime, I've been putting it in here for protection. So I want to show you what they gave us to actually complete the classes. These are in no particular order. And this is the stamp set by Cassie that we use this one and some of the others. And she gave us some of her own decorative cardstock. She gave us um, her stencil there and more Duralar. And here is the, here's the one that we sprayed the inks on. You can see how beautiful that is. This does take a while to dry when you have it that thick, but it will dry. Here's the rest of my white one here. Isn't that beautiful? And these are chipboard pieces that we sprayed. And that's what I'm going to glue onto the front of my artwork. Just waiting, waiting to get home because you can't get all that done in class. It's just very difficult. Hero Arts donated some of the stamps that we use, the texture stamps. Love that. And we have Joggles foam stamps. The lady who designed these was also helping out. Cat did. So these are foam stamps and they are really thick. Another stamp set, this is the flower that we use, was from Hero Arts and I used the word love. And I wanna show you some of the mixed media. And also when I cut those black pieces out of the mini album, I saved those because I'm going to use those. Of all the media that we used on that, of course we used alcohol inks, which I mentioned. I double bagged this to get home because I didn't want any leakage. Here's the gold inks that we had used. This is beautiful. And this is Amsterdam ink and it is deep gold. We also used their ink in the uh, primary magenta. <clears throat> these alcohol inks, we used markers on them and these are from Brunzeel. Some of these that companies donated these. Brunzeel also donated the colored pencils. And we also used the micro perm from Sakura. And this is the jelly roll pen, also from Sakura. And the watercolor, we actually used watercolor on the acetate. So these were donated from Talons. This is real Talons paint. So all of these we used on the acetates, plus, plus from the second class, we got the addition of this, which was the Amsterdam acrylic, and this is a beautiful turquoise. You know I love turquoise. We also got some sprays. Everybody got um, one of these, but we got different colors in the sprays and paste. This is what I got, lemon, eggplant, and turquoise. And we all got different color paste from t uh, the Crafters Workshop. And I got gold butter and the chartreuse. And we got the stays on ink pad. So that's a lot of media for these projects. So every time I would be at a booth, I Sally was teasing me because I kept advertising for the graphics company. So I picked up some little flyers about what you can do with the Duralar. And someone told me that you can sublimate on Duralar. So I will have to try that out. So what I did, I'm so fascinated with this mixed media kit that I ordered some of these six inch mixed media kits for my shop. And when those come in, I will list those. And I also ordered a little bit of the extra of just that, that mat here that looks like vellum. 
amazing. Um, I really did continue telling people, anyone who sold colored pencils that I was talking to or paint, I would say, hey, have you, have you tried this over here? Have you tried using it on acetate? And so I'm really, sh I know some people said they were going over to the graphics booth to check it out. I can't wait to get my order in. I don't know how long it'll take. I'm a new wholesale co customer with them. This blew my mind. I was so excited about it. I also have a video of the booth tour that we did, and I will link that underneath this. But wonderful two classes. Love the projects we made, and the teachers were awesome.